Next is from Xavier, and the subject is free pay-per-view. With the Blood and Guts match, you think that Tony and the guys are giving away too many pay-per-view-worthy matches for free. I felt the Darby Allen versus Jungle Boy match would have been something I would have looked forward to on a pay-per-view. They had Brian Cage versus Hangman. Cage went over clean out of left field and meant nothing, which I can't believe. Now, Blood and Guts, especially now there's no competition on Wednesdays. That's the fuels, that fuels great matchups. I think there's been a couple of other examples wasted on Wednesday. Side note, the whole Jim V, the whole Jim V DI thing is like the cliche. The whole Jim, Jim versus v, Jim versus Oh Jim yeah. versus DI thing is like the cliche unstoppable object versus a movable object in the sense that Jim can cut a promo into someone's ass, but he can't get a promo in against the conversation terrorist. Mm. Nothing. He exa- I don't. I didn't even understand that sentence. Um, Okay, I'm gonna for, give a kazoo for that. First of all, there's for, no, there's no, there's no Jim versus Di. Jim commented on something that was misinformed that I didn't say. So no, but it's first, a, let me just say this: even a thing. You, you, you aren't saying Jim versus Di. You were going Jim v Di. So for that, well, I give you this. Well, well, you, you tell me how how you would pronounce this. I would have thought it was Jim with a capital V. <laughs> period, <laughs> period. Okay, Jim capital V. Period. Right. D, capital D cap period I period. Okay, I would have said Jim versus Di. That's what I. Mean. Yeah, V period. I, the period would have led me to believe it. I was thought versus. Jim V was the, the whole Jim V Di. I, I don't. Know. All right. Um. So the, que- the the question was: Is AEW giving away or are AEW giving away too many pay per view quality matches on TV like this coming uh, or like the War Games uh, Blood and Guts match? Yeah, and it's gonna be yes. My- I mean, for, for what the what they're going to try to do for only like in the, the, to to get a rating on a on a night that they're not head to head, it's like all these guys are going to be bleeding all over the place, mm-hmm. and it's not it's not violence type blood on that show. It's like South Park type blood. The, the, it's it's like all of a sudden the show's like cartoonish and everything. Next thing you know, these guys are bleeding all over the place. Everything. I I don't know. I just think that that sometimes. We have to work too hard, like the, like the, the the performers like beat themselves up too much and bleed and everything to try and get numbers for the show. Is what it looks like. Is what it comes across like to me. Yeah. Do you rem- so. do you remember the very bloody match between QT and uh, Dustin versus Butcher right. and the Blade? Like, do, you, do you remember that? They had it, and they had it set up like they had furniture set up at ringside, and they had it set up like a cartoonish and it was the middle western the set, and then they're bleeding all over each other. It's like come on, it's like come on. It's like, I don't, you know. Um, you don't need blood anymore these days. It's like it's, it's been so long that blood's not been on TV. It's not like the suspension of disbelief in there that the, that you think these people really hate each other. They're having a bloody feud. But like you can do it in places like Mexico and stuff where the fans still think it's real. Sometimes you can have a blood feud in the main event. But it's like nobody's buying blood these days in America because we all the, the way of the fans are smarting up. Everybody knows it's a work. There's no reason to bleed all over each other out there. You know. Well, here is what do you think, Conan? I want to hear Conan. Yeah, go ahead, Conan. I don't know. I think there's a lot to that, but I still think that if you bleed and and it and, and it's done the right way, you'll hook people more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like these guys are going to bleed, and it's not like they're bleeding from. They're going to bleed, and then they're going to go do like all these, 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 these like the acrobatic spots. Mm, right. You know, like when guys used to bleed, they just it would just be like a fight, punching, yeah. kicking, and you know stuff. Now it's like they they bleed. But they're not brawling from the from the bleed. They're not bleeding because they're beating each other up. They're bleeding because they they hit the post and they did a flying. Th- I don't know. It's just kind of it's it's it's, it's ass backwards to me. Uh, well, uh, when, when they do stuff like this, would you like to hear Chris Jericho's take on it? Let's hear it from Wrestling Observer Radio. He also did an interview with the New York Times the other day. Jericho did so, getting around right. promoting the match. He says, "I think it's more about the intensity, about the story we tell, and how the match ends." So yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some blood. There won't be any guts, but I think once again. What do you want to do to really show how intense, intense and violent the match is? Guys don't have to bleed to do that, but again, it's the first time we've ever seen this. It's not a true blue war games either. The apparatus is different just because I don't think I'm giving anything away here, but the configurations of Daly's Place, you've never seen an apparatus like this. There are going to be some differences. So Blood and Guts really is a new version. It's not WWE's war games. It's not Dusty's war games. It's AEW's version of war games, which is why it's called Blood and Guts. It's got a different name. So I like that. I like the fact that it has to be different, not just because we don't own the copyright to war games, but because we're actually making this a little different from what you're used to. It's going to be one of those destination shows. It's a destination match. We've already sold more tickets to the show than we have for any post-pandemic show, just on the interest for that. I think people are going to be very satisfied, but I don't think you're going to see 10 guys just bleeding all over the place. I think that kind of takes away from the violence rather than adds to it, but it's going to be a smartly worked, excellent story match for sure. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I, you, um, I, I'm pretty sure all ten guys are probably going to bleed, right? I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. So, 